These raw materials, sinter, iron ore and coke, meet each other at the blast furnace, where they are fed into the top of the furnace along with a further ingredient, limestone. A hot air blast, from which the furnace gets its name, is injected through nozzles, called tweers, situated in the base of the furnace. This blast raises the temperature in the furnace to white-hot intensity, around 2,200 degrees centigrade. This extremely high temperature is needed for the chemical reduction and melting of the sinter and iron ore to form a pool of molten iron in the lower part of the furnace, just above the half. The limestone that's been added combines with impurities and forms a liquid that floats on the surface of the molten iron. This is known as slag. As the molten iron is tapped from the furnace, the slag is skimmed off and taken away for use in other industries, such as road building and cement manufacture. The molten iron, or hot metal as it's known in the industry, is still impure and contains unwanted elements such as sulphur, phosphorus, manganese and silicon. To make steel, these elements must be removed or reduced and other elements added, depending on the type of steel being made. The carbon content, at about 4%, makes iron very brittle and unsuitable for rolling or forging. And although iron can be used for castings, most of the iron produced is processed into steel.